Jesus, how's this gonna come out of here? Oh Jesus. All right guys, so you've seen the clip and honestly, we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna try my best to not have pre-judgment, but to be honest, this whole video just seems like a bunch of stuff that Lawson came up with that, I don't know. But we're still gonna give it a try. So in order to try this, we need some fresh um, pasta dough. Is that what you call it? Fresh pasta? I've never attempted to make ravioli or fresh pasta, to be honest, so it's one of those hacks that it's for a complete different demographic that is the opposite of me. Fresh pasta is like tough, so um, I'm gonna attempt to roll this out to the shape of the ice tray, and before everyone makes fun of me, I'm gonna be using a can of Monster, because I don't have a rolling pin, and this is the closest thing I've got in my house. Obviously for this step, like you can buy this already pre-made, um, I just couldn't find it, but if you live in like Italy, I mean, just get it from a vending machine. Is that what Italy is like? Pasta in vending machines, fresh pasta, because honestly I'm down for that idea. I'm kind of joking, but I do think that if this works, this is really cool. A lot of the stuff on this video is truly life-changing. Like if you guys make food a lot, or if you're just excited about food hacks, this is like one of the best like selection of food hacks that I've seen. All of that using this. So far, so good. Like we managed to actually, maybe should be a little bit bigger because we need more surface area because it's gonna go into the tiny little holes. All right, so the first thing they do in the video is spray the ice trays. So we're gonna be doing that. I mean, with this kind of stuff, I've learned my lesson that more is more. You don't want everything to be stuck in there, so I'm not playing any games here. We're gonna lay this on top of the ice tray. Okay, we've got full coverage. Wait, how do they do that? Oh my god, because <laughs> there's air in it. <laughs> Look at this. It comes back. Like, you literally barely hold shape. This is the kind of stuff they never show in these videos, like, how do you get rid of the air that is underneath? Like, I don't... Like, do we have to lift it on the sides? I feel like I'm gonna break it, but there's no other way to do it other than press it in. I mean, I guess that's kind of working. This is as good as it gets. I have to move quickly because basically they always come back to its original shape because obviously the dough um, it's not stretching all the way down and also there's like air pockets. So I don't know how they did in the video Let's move quickly because I'm getting really stressed about the situation. So this is ricotta cheese, which is exactly what they used So this is some Italian seasoning. So we're gonna fill in each pocket just You know, what? I'm gonna use my fingers for this oh my God, The pockets are so small like I honestly kind of hope that you guys can tell on camera. Look, this one here is not even fully... I don't even know what's gonna happen. I'm just going to do it and then we'll see. Like, I'm actually doing my best here. Like, I'm not trying to be like sloppy. I say this as I'm using my fingers. It might all just come together in the end. Like, sometimes that does happen. So this should be the last step. I think this will work out, kind of. So we are going to put this... God, please be enough. So now we're gonna press it down, that's what they did in the video. They... Guys, when I try to press it down like they did in the video, there's like air pockets. The top layer won't stick down because there's so much air, it keeps on pushing it up. We're just gonna trim with a knife because that's what they've done in the video. Alright. This actually looks the same. It looks like literally solid and perfect, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put this in the freezer for maybe like what, like an hour maybe? These just came out of the freezer. It looks a little bit darker than before and it feels like a little bit more solid. In the video they never show us how they cut this, so it could be... Oh my god. Oh my god. 
good, please. <laughs> I've been working on this for like an hour. I made pasta. Please tell me this is gonna come out. Oh my god, this is honestly the dumbest thing I've ever done. It shouldn't be that difficult to get this out. This is why if you guys go and watch the video, they skip the part where they cut it. Because <laughs> this is what you would see. These ones are the problem. Okay, so in the end, um, this is what it looks like. I mean, it is frozen, that's why it's easy to move it, but I'm not too confident on this. Also, they're very doughy. I don't really know how I feel about this whole process, but I mean, we do have a ravioli. Is it the prettiest ravioli in the world? Um, it's not. I would say only this one actually has like a tiny little hole in it. Do you see the white filling? I don't really know if this will cook without bursting, like if it's truly going to hold on, because some of these have already burst and we haven't even put this in any temperature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boil these and I'm gonna show you whether this works or not. So as you can see, I didn't cook all of them. I cooked around five of them just so, just so we can truly test it out so it wasn't overcrowded in the pan. Oh my God, this is so thick. <laughs> They also don't look very up. <laughs> so we've got a broken one and four of them that didn't break. So that's good statistics. It is kind of bizarre. And then it's so thick. And I know that is partially my fault because obviously it has to do with the rolling out of the pasta. This would be really difficult to make it with very thin dough. Like I'm not saying it would be impossible, but... Uh. Oh my god, it's literally filled with air. <laughs> like, I'm not joking. There's so much empty space. This is like the lays of raviolis. Like, it's literally 80% air, 20% filling, just down in the back. Personally, I would never ever do this again. But obviously, I mean, you guys saw the whole process in a very, like, authentic way. Like, you saw me struggling with, like, basically every step of the way. It is approved. I think it works. I don't think this is easier than making ravioli the normal way, so is it really a hack? I don't know, you guys let me know. This next one better work because I've actually microwaved every single piece of chocolate that I found in my house. This is like the most amount of chocolate like I've ever seen in my life. If this actually fails, I will personally drive or fly to the Blossom offices and I will ask for my money back. The ultimate Karen move. So what they basically do is they just pour the chocolate literally all over it. Like it covers the full thing and then they add more stuff. Like I don't know how it didn't overflow in the video. Like it actually doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna do it the way they've done it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm excited for it, but also slightly worried I've just wasted all my chocolate. All right, can you see that? It's not even filled. I swear I had like one kilogram of chocolate here. This is fine. Okay, so they basically cover the whole top. Like we have to smooth it out as you can see. But that's actually like, this actually looks very, very similar. So, so for the next step, what they do is they place one raspberry on every single little hole and then they push it in, but they push it in all at the same time. Like, I don't know if they do that for like visual purposes, which is something that we're not concerned about on my channel. We're still going to do it. So I'm going to put one raspberry. So they did it like the pointy side up. Oh no. Oh, that, that is not pointy side up. It still looks appetizing, but nothing like it did in their video. This is it. Oh my God, that actually looks so good. Like, oh, I wanna eat this just like that. Annoyingly, they kind of turn sideways, but basically we're gonna press every single one of them until it's fully like submerged. This is so weird because this is gonna overflow. Like this is not gonna last for every Do you see, every time I push one in, this is closer and closer to the breaking point. Also me at every single video I make. This is actually holding on really well. I guess it's because chocolate is thicker than I was thinking in my head. 
so it doesn't really spill that easy. Oh my god, that looks so good. So what they do after is sprinkle some nuts on top. Holy shit. Oh, was this strawberries first? Oh well. This is honestly looking like a snack. Sometimes people say that about other people, but no, I actually mean that. So we're gonna cut some strawberries because they did some like present. Oh, oh my god, I thought it was gonna spill chocolate all over me. All right, so we're gonna do like maybe one here in the middle. So far, the most stressful part has been cutting the strawberries, but I'd actually wanna say that in comparison to the first one, this is like, this one is actually like not that much work to do, like this actually makes sense. So there we go guys, this looks exactly, I really want to show you but it will spill. I mean I guess I could clean it up, but it's not worth it. Okay guys, so here we've got the final product, like we can actually move it now. There's like some bits where it looks like it's cracking. Like maybe like I'm making this up, but honestly really looks like it. But I mean, it is solid. It did solidify. Um, so I want to see how they did it in the video. I think they just flip it. Like I'm so stressed about this. In the video, they don't show how they cut it. Do you guys see like they always do this because it's like the most important part. But I mean, I guess we're going to have to do it. I mean, how do we do this? How do we do this without breaking? This doesn't make any sense. We just break it like like you do with an ice. It's not coming off. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's all coming off now. This is also very satisfying. <laughs> oh, this one is really stuck. Jesus, how is it gonna come out of here? <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> oh my god and somehow it didn't break like i mean it did crack a little but like it's still like solid so i mean i'll give them props for that but i mean what is the point of adding the strawberries in the end do you see what i'm saying if they're not gonna like they should have lined perfectly with every cube because otherwise look how awkward that is overall this is great this is really good like if you look at it from this side like, that looks so good. Ooh. I want to show you guys the center. Um, please excuse my Pikachu band-aid. <laughs> I freaking love chocolate. I love all the ingredients in this. This is like a really good treat for me. So I may be biased, but the whole process went pretty smoothly. Like this was fun to make. So for that reason, I'm gonna approve of this one. And this is actually one of my favorite in general hacks from Blossom, 100% approved. Sushi has kind of been my favorite food for like the last two years, so I'm obviously very excited for this one. And I'm just gonna say that if this works, if using a nice tray to make sushi, if you manage to actually get the sushi out of here, I'm 100% gonna approve this so easy. And the reason for that is because I don't know if you guys have ever tried to make sushi at home, but it is a literal nightmare. So whoever like cooks this like on a daily basis, I have so much respect <laughs> because I could never. There is a reason why we've never made sushi on my channel and that's because I suck at it. So the process for this one isn't too complicated. You basically need like all the stuff that you want in your sushi and also some sushi rice, which mine is still a little bit warm, but it should be fine. So I'm gonna be using some avocado and also some smoked salmon. And that's basically going to be just the two toppings that I'm gonna use. I've got no idea how to get a slice of avocado like perfectly because that's kind of what they've done in the video. But this is not looking very easy. So this is gonna be our first one, which is gonna be just avocado. And this is honestly like, you just literally put it in there. You don't need to put like any spray or anything in this one. So I'm going to do the first two just avocado. For this next one, I'm going to use some seaweed. So we're just going to cut. I guess it'll be interesting to see if the seaweed is going to stick to the bottom of it because I can see that happening. So we're going to do seaweed and then also 
some avocado. At least the smoked salmon is really easy to cut. So, oh no. Oh shit. For the very last one, I'm gonna try to do like, like a cross with the seaweed. <laughs> This is like, this is just a test whether this is actually gonna work or not. So if the last one comes as a cross, I'll be very impressed with this. Once you're done with your design, this is really easy. Basically just fill in the tiny little holes with sushi. The only thing I'm kind of concerned is about whether this is gonna come out of here or not. This process is definitely not as fun as the last one, but not as stressful <laughs> as the first one. So, you know, it's got potential. Okay, I'm trying to use literally every part of my arm <laughs> to make this stick. Okay, so this is gonna be good enough. I need to wash my hands and clean it up. So it's been around one hour, and as you can see, I did clean it up a little bit. It feels a lot more solid. It's also cold. In the video, they literally did this. That was it. And then it sort of came out, so... Wait, let me place it. Oh my god, how amazing would it be if we literally lift it and every single sushi is like placed on here. That would make me so happy. Oh. <laughs> Why do I always believe everything? The version of the world in my head is very different than reality. All right. And we have to do every single one individually. Ew. <laughs> I mean, that kind of looks cute, but also the avocado went all mushy. This one's out. Okay, that one actually looks really good. Oh. All right, so we managed to get every single one of them out. And like, oh, I'm so glad I bought this so you guys can see the, the contrast. The avocado is all mushy and like, I don't know, like the designs, like this was supposed to be a cross and it's just, it's interesting. It is definitely better than any sushi that I could have made myself. Like I gotta keep it real. This might be unexpected, but the reason why I'm gonna approve this one is because I think I might have pressed it a little hard to get it out, but it was honestly really difficult. I think we should have sprayed it. Maybe I did <laughs> skip a step in the video, but I don't think I did. I will rewatch it after. Um, I don't think I did. If I have, let me know in the comment section. But I don't know. I don't know what we could have possibly done for these to come out easy because I actually love the idea of this and I think it's got potential. So for that reason, I'm gonna say that it's improved. Maybe I didn't do it the best way. I don't know. I know this one sounds kind of dumb, like there is nothing really to prove, like it just seems to make sense. But I've got this personal theory that this one is just pointless, like this is not an actual issue. I don't think you will be able to taste the difference from regular ice to ice that is made of the drink. So in order to test this, I'm gonna test both drinks one made with real ice and one made with the actual drink frozen. And if I can taste that one is better than the other, then I'll approve this and think that this is worth it. So on this side, I've got some tea. Um, wow. Wow, this is really difficult. Oh no. This looked a lot easier in the video. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm usually proud of spilling tea, but not today. <laughs> I'm gonna do the coffee on this. What is wrong with me? I can't do this. Why is this so difficult? Okay, this one's a little easier. Uh... I hate this. And also, how am I gonna move this in the freezer now? Like, this is... See, already? I don't like this. <laughs> like, this is, like, way too difficult. Like, how am I gonna carry this maybe i shouldn't have filled it up so much but so here we've got our ice cubes that are this side i think it's coffee and i think this one is tea i mean yep definitely tea 
and definitely coffee. Wow, that is better. Okay, so there goes the tea. All right. I mean, I would say these are roughly the same amount of ice. Maybe this one even has got a little bit more ice. So if anything, this is like not helping my case, but we're gonna do the coffee on this side. Oh my god, I just came up with something. This could be coffee on the go. That's a nice, oh, that would melt. And then I would say that's good. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the second one. So we're gonna do coffee and we're gonna do coffee on the ice. Blossom claims that this hack exists, like the reason why they created it was because whenever you're having a drink and then you put ice in it and the ice melts and it gets too diluted and then it's like too watery. So that's exactly what we're gonna test out. I'm gonna wait for both of the ices to melt, maybe not fully, but like close to being like maybe halfway melted, which is kind of already happening. And then we're gonna taste it and see if this ones have got more flavor than the regular ice. This is very scientific. It's only been a few minutes, but the drinks have kind of melted already a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them on a plate. Oh shit. Maybe should I do like that. I hope it doesn't spill, so I'm gonna give all of them. Okay, this one. Okay, I'm gonna spin this a lot for a long time until I fully lost track of where the drinks are. Like I honestly, like I actually mean this, that I have no idea where anything is. So, I mean, I can stop already, but let's go the other way. Okay. So I'm gonna grab this drink right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope nothing falls. Alright, so this is coffee. So I'm gonna put it here. <gasps> oh shit! Um Alright, so we might need a little bit more ice. <laughs> I always said I would spill the tea, I just didn't think it was gonna happen like that. I'm just gonna taste them. Okay, so this is the one with, um, this is the one with actual coffee as ice. And this is the one with water as ice. Oh my god, I hate myself because I, I was trying to prove a point. <laughs> That actually doesn't make any sense. This tastes so much stronger than the one with water. It's literally like complete different drinks. This one is so strong with the iced coffee that it makes this one taste like tea. Like it's honestly crazy. I was literally double checking to make sure these were the teas. In conclusion, I am an idiot. Never ever listen to me. I am literally covered in tea. Like, <laughs> sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> Um, I swear it's no joke, like, I spilled the tea for real. I'm glad I didn't break anything, so if you guys enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed all the mess and the effort I put into this, I would really appreciate if you guys could give the video a like, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is, like, if you scroll down, there's, like, my face. I know, annoying, block that if possible, but then you've got the subscribe button and a notification bell, so if you tap the subscribe and the notification bell, if I post a new video that is similar to this, YouTube will send you a notification. I always explain to you guys, because I think it's fair, like, sometimes people ask for you to subscribe, but you don't really know the rules, so those are the rules. My socks are soaked and... So is literally the whole of my body. So anyways guys, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm gonna hurry up so I can go and clean all of this But I just wanted to say if you guys if there's any more of these hacks that you guys want me to try out Even if they're really dumb, please let me know in the comment section down below What I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna go and read every single comment just to make sure that I'm not missing out on anything that you guys want to see so yeah let me know more stupid stuff. I mean, it can't get any worse than this. So I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.